hell no. Hell no. Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, dude. We're back on this train of <laughs> Bizarre Bub. I was gonna release my reaction to watching his best of 2022 first, but then he uploaded this. I decided, you know what? Let me just drop this video first, and then next week, you guys will get an hour and a half long video of me reacting to his best of 2022. There was a few stories in there I have never seen. So I just thought, hey, you guys deserve a treat. So why not just give you guys a little bit of a dual type of thing? Get this first. This is more recent. And then you get an hour long video next week. I think that's a cool deal between me and you guys. Let's just get into today's video. Scary Comp version 85 by Bizarre Bub. Uh, let's just see what new stories. This is eight stories in total. I can see in the top right on my screen. You guys are looking into my eyes. So. Eight stories, 30 minutes long, meaning if you divide this by that. What would eight divided by 30 be? Because isn't 32 divided by eight equals four? No, four, eight, eight, 16, 24, 32. It is 32. So if it's 30 minutes, that means technically speaking, each video our story has to be about uh, three and a half minutes long. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, do the math. I'm I'm haven't been in school in 37 years. In the following video, two security guards are looking at footage captured by 360 degree security camera. Something very strange happened the night before, and they think the camera outside their building recorded the incident. The two guards scroll through the footage to see if the camera caught it. Okay, there's people standing right there. People walking. The guards look at every angle captured by the security camera, but unfortunately, nothing unusual stands out. Yeah. That is, until they see this. Oh, a person is standing. Oh, now it's facing person going like this. Now to the side and hands like this. No, doing a Macarena. Okay, smoking a cigarette. No, that is not a cig. Is this the fucking human torch? Motherfucker called Houdini? That was Jay from Big Mouth. The night guards are stumped. Somehow, the woman standing in the street just woman. disappears. Oh. Mm. She seemingly vanishes without a trace after lighting up something that goes ablaze. But further adding to the strangeness is what ensues. The smoke, according to viewers, seems to form the image of a skull. It's hard to see at first, but the night guards point this out. A skull? A skull? Oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. We have three pixels as a camera and then, yeah, the believe something supernatural was caught on camera. Now, possibly the skull could have simply been a case of pareidolia. But as for the woman who disappears, the fuck that, that seems a bit strange. This incident took place in Argentina in the city of Chimbas, where many residents have yet to figure out the mystery of this Chimbas. footage. Cool name for a city. Okay, uh, sure. Okay. In this next video, 
a group of friends are exploring a large parking lot filled with buses that are no longer in use. Each bus, according to them, is defunct. But the reason they're Def here isn't just to look at old buses, but instead. Is the what? Defunct? Defunct? Uh, the dysfunctional? And like no longer operates? According to them, is defunct. But what the fuck that means? Defunct does that mean? The reason they're here isn't just to look at old buses, but okay. instead to see if anything strange happens while being there. Rumor has it, the property is haunted. The Soyopongo district in El Salvador, where these buses are located, has seen a lot of creepy things I on this property. Not El Salvador. From shadow figures that look like passengers sitting down inside a bus, to a bus that occasionally honks its horn late at night, residents avoid coming here at all costs. But to Henry Portillo and his friends, this was a perfect spot for some excitement. Although fun at first, things got serious. While talking to a neighbor who lives right next to the parking lot, this happens. Maybe like a figure, an orb, an orb, right? Or that's a reflection. Just when the group was beginning to have doubts about the place, they see this. The tail light on the bus is somehow turned on. After checking to see if there might be anything to explain this, they find nothing. Although it could be that only certain parts of the bus work, they found it creepy that this happened out of nowhere in a place that is said to be haunted. Not really sure how to explain this and feeling a bit spooked, the group walks away and explores the rest of the town. But Let me guess. when looking back at the buses from far away, they see this. The headlights come on? Ah, no mames, güey. No mames? Okay. I don't see what they see. Oh, like an indicator. Oh, no. A human... Is that a person standing there? Yeah. Okay. If it disappears, skepticism will be out the way. A la madre, wey. In the distance, the silhouette of a dark figure stands next to a bus. It appears to stand in place without moving an inch. Seeing this was enough to make everyone's blood run cold. This unusual figure had a very uncanny quality. Upon seeing this, the group knew it was time to leave. The video ends with the group heading out, but it's unknown if they went back down to the buses before they left. Given this clip, they most likely stayed away. Yeah. The group certainly thinks that they caught a ghost on camera or something like that. But as with most videos, what was captured remains a mystery. Okay, stuff like that. I'm always will be a skeptic. You get to sometimes play with ideals, as in maybe it's a person that has an outfit which they can blend in, or it's a shadowy cutout of somebody that they placed there. Maybe it could be this, maybe it could be that. We have all these unexplored questions and answers and this and that. Sometimes questions and maybe answers to some questions lead to more questions. 
and it's an indefinite cycle of just going circle and circle and circle but maybe it's true maybe it's fake maybe it's a ghost maybe it's just a cutout maybe it's just a person maybe it's an actor maybe it's this maybe it's that maybe it's a person that and uh, lives around an area as a homeless person it's always going to be a, a forever cycle of asking questions but if the person would have been recording and then figure disappears like a thin air just like that okay that rains that gives you a little bit more questions okay is this real whatever then if the person who does the video could show and prove that hey this is raw footage no editing there's no cuts there's no clipping there's no access to premiere or access to you cut or access to any other editing programs this was at that moment 100 percent raw i did not touch it did not do anything to it this is what happens that's when you start getting skeptics to actually look at you like okay that okay i i actually might believe you i actually might believe ghosts are a thing ghosts yeah you get what i mean so you just i just have not seen anything yet that gives me definite 1010 just proof that the afterlife is a thing when it comes to the spiritual world because a lot of things that i've been singing from bizarre or nuke has always been they see something they drop the phone or <laughs> and they you know they put the phone up or they look away they you know they have a little you know scare which rightfully so if you see a figure that wasn't there of course you gotta jump but i have never seen a person that goes <gasps> like obviously and they, they have the camera still there but then approach it because everything that they get scared is always away from the screen and then back and they're gone i would love to see an actual footage of person seeing a ghost put it straight to the person's fucking temple or brain or whatever and follow it and try to touch it or go after it have not seen that yet now in previous videos i've included clips of kids who either say or see things that aren't there in some of these cases, parents don't believe anything strange is going on until they see footage or images of the so-called imaginary oh, yeah, friend who their child has been seeing. Like those videos, this one is just as unsettling. Susan oh. Murlock is the mother of a two-year-old girl who one day told her something very concerning. Oh. She told her mom that a person was hiding in her closet. Unsettled by what her daughter had said, she immediately heads over and checks the closet. You just throw a grenade in it. My daughter has informed me that there is a person in her closet that keeps smiling at her. Let's go see. Open it. That's a person. There's a person? Yeah. Can you show me where the person is? Right here. Right here. Right here. Is it, is it Elsa? No. No. No? You're scared? Yeah. Okay, is there, can you show me where the person is? Is it a, is it a, is it a kid person or a grown-up person? Grown-up person. It's a grown-up person? Grown up. Okay. I'm wearing your Elmo. You want to wear your Elmo costume? Yeah. Okay. So there's a grown-up person in your closet? Yeah. And it's right there? You're scared? Yeah. I'm a person. Okay, well, we'll get rid of the person. For some reason. Molotov cocktail. Arson. Home insurance. Grenade. AC 130. That is all you need for this instance. Susan. Susan's daughter is frightened by something in her closet. She seems to be genuinely scared as though someone is actually there. But as we can see, no one is inside. Now in the closet, there's a box that apparently forms a face if you squint your eyes. Some believe that this is what her daughter had seen. But in a short video responding to comments regarding the box, Susan says this. Um, there is like a woman shaped thing on the box, which is very strange. 
Um, so I take the box out. I took all the clothes out of that in case that was like causing a shadow or something. So I took all the clothes out of the back of that closet. I took the box out um, and she still saw the person. Oops, someone's at my door. She still saw the person. She said that they're still there and they're still smiling at her. So then, if it wasn't the box, then what was it? It's Walk unknown what she saw, but Susan has locked the closet <laughs> in the hopes that her daughter would stop crying at night. Ever since locking it, she's been sleeping peacefully. Whatever it might have been that her child saw, Susan continues to keep an eye on the closet in case anything strange happens. Nah, just cuckapoosh. Cuckapoosh. There's a place in Ohio known as Helltown, and in this place, many people... Of course you fucking people from Ohio will have a place called Helltown. ...have reported feeling extremely uneasy when coming here. To some people, this isn't surprising, considering the horrifying events that occurred many years ago. Helltown was founded by a group of Native Americans who tragically lost many of its people in a gruesome battle between settlers and colonial troops. A lot of Indians died here, but those who survived had left Helltown in search of another home. Fast forward to present-day Helltown, and people are deeply afraid of coming here alone. Damn. Many believe that the land is cursed, given the chain of bad luck that ensued when the settlers moved in. On a certain night, Chris Hill, who you might recall from previous videos, decides mm -hmm. to visit Helltown. What he captures on camera is eerie, to say the least. Urban As Chris Hills, walks believe, through is... a dense forest, he finds an old barn house. It's from here on out when things get weird. It's a grizzly looking dude. It's like a farmhouse. I think that's shit. Oh, never mind. I'm mean, recording this in like 12K. Compared to all the other. Barn of Hilltown. Yeah. Now, nothing too strange happens here, but when Chris decides to explore beyond the barn, things take a very creepy turn. Watch. It's like I'm playing Resident Evil Village. Yeah, this is kind of creepy. It's like a little, it's like a little shack back here. I'm looking in every direction. For me, don't. Okay. I'm surprised this barn is still standing despite how old it is. Yeah, foundation cook. What the hell is that? What the fuck? Bro. Yeah, I low key might want to be watching his it videos. Goes without saying, but Chris was totally spooked. Somewhere not too far from him, a bunch of howling noises are heard. Yeah. Understandably, he starts to get anxious. Although it's unclear as to what this was, it seems more than likely that a pack of coyotes were howling collectively. Regardless, coyote or not, the sudden cries coming from the pitch darkness had Chris on edge. Of course. But as if tonight couldn't get any more creepy, this happens. Not long after hearing the howling noises, he proceeds to explore the rest of Helltown. As he walks with caution, he immediately stops. Lice and carry. Just know if I if you ever see me do I keep hearing something. It sounds like it's following me. Stuff like this. Just know. Only reason why I'd be doing this if I could carry legally. Ghosts may not be get hit. But anybody try to fuck around, they will find out real quick. Oh, 
Because hell no, I I can't do this with no way to defend myself. Being somewhere nowhere at the same time. You're somewhere but nowhere. Oh, that's the eyes. Nah, that shit dipped. Something's over there. I can hear it. Homie. What looks to be a pair of glowing eyes appear in the distance. It seems to be gazing at Chris as it hides behind the grass. It's as if it were stalking him. Now Chris immediately knew that this was a living thing after seeing it hide away. He further adds that whatever this was had to be taller than the grass around him. Mind you that the grass was at least six feet tall. Given all that's happened before, Chris figured it was best if he left the place at once. What was supposed to be a fun urban exploration video turned out to be something completely different. Like others who came here before, viewers believe the rumors to be true. Something strange resides in Helltown. Whether it's something paranormal or something else, many agree that it's best to stay away from this place. Who knows what Helltown has become ever since the tragic incidents that happened in the past. It's very true. Just kaka push. That's it. No. Oh, stop, people. While spending the night inside an Airbnb, two friends ah, get doggy. something on camera that they can't seem to explain. The person recording this is known as Emma Jean, and the reason why she's filming Billie Jean. is because okay. it was just then that her dog Rosie started acting up. Either someone or something was nearby, causing her to bark like crazy. Or at least that's what Emma thought. Now, is your this dog was strange, Superman? as Emma states Crypto? that Rosie has always been a quiet dog. Unlike most dogs of the same breed, Rosie is best described as being mellow. But as shown in the following clip, she was not her usual self. Is there a ghost? Is there a ghost? Yeah. Hey, yeah. What is this first? Where's the ghost? Right there. Where? Where is it? She's staring at her with the dog. Confused as to what she was Your barking dog at, by Emma vision. jokingly implies that she's barking at a ghost. Although entertained by this notion, it's what happens next that leaves Emma and her friend completely spooked. Watch. What the f For just a moment, a mysterious shadow appears on camera before disappearing from sight. As the camera pans around the space, nothing is seen close by to explain the strange shadow. Aside from its odd appearance, Emma further adds that this cryptic silhouette seemingly reaches out for Rosie. It happens real fast, but if you slow the footage, you'll see what many viewers have noted. Its rapid movement and Rosie's reaction to it have led some to believe that this mm. might have been the spirit of a cat who passed away inside this Airbnb. But regardless of whatever this might have been, Emma was definitely shaken up by the sudden appearance of this mysterious shadow that has yet to be identified. Interesting. The comment on that, sorry for pausing the video a lot. Uh, it's called a fucking reaction. You don't like it too fucking bad. Is, yeah, I could, I could see that being the ghost of a cat where it was an Airbnb. Uh, it reached out and it went back out. Yas queen. But it, and, and it, did, it did that period. So I, I could see that. Those are kind of videos where I'm kind of hard to be like, explain it reactions seem genuine it's a dog and if they created that narrative that that dog is supposed to be mellow and very non-aggressive or not barking and then now out of nowhere starts barking then it's a narrative whatever but if it's true that the dog is very mellow and doesn't react to things or doesn't uh jump or complain and shit like that then yeah i could so to believe more of the afterlife paranormal stuff, especially for the fact that dogs are not people. 
So it's like those reactions you get from dogs is not something you could just I mean you know what I'm trying to say. It's not like how a person could be like genuine. Like I could look into the camera and I could think I could think something. Sorry for pitch. I'm sorry for hitting you guys. I can immediately think of something scary and I could put like a horrifying face and it could seem genuine. It's called acting. Having dog actors is a little bit more difficult to train. So that's my input on it. It's around 2.30 in the morning when a man films himself reacting to online videos. The man in this video is known as Zark, and unlike his previous reaction videos, this one captures something that has left him extremely terrified. A reaction now, of a reactor? This is the first time Zark was frightened by something in his home. He might recall from previous videos about the strange occurrences that his family encountered in their old apartment. From small pets that would often turn up dead the next day after being brought home, to clocks on the wall that would mysteriously stop working is this even the though Indian they were just family? recently replaced. It's safe to say that yeah. Zark has had plenty of creepy experiences, but nothing compares to what happened recently in his new home. Just like before, he gets on camera all that's been happening. The following are things that have taken place only weeks after moving into his new apartment. So I hope you can see the clock is stuck. It's most probably a battery fault, but two clocks going at the same time, it's obviously is very suspicious. You put on pants? Oh no. Suffice it to say, things have not changed since what? moving out. The Wait. same odd occurrences that took place in their old apartment are happening here as well. Did Clocks they move in the stop same working, flat? And pets mysteriously start dying. But creepiest of all, the doorbell goes off when no one is at the door. Now, of course, it could be that someone had rang the doorbell as a prank, like Zark mentions. But it's what happens only a few nights later that makes the doorbell incident all the more creepy. It's late at night when Zark captures this. It's the same setup as his old apartment. Looking up, down, left, right. Strangely, the keys to the door start moving on their own. Initially thinking that a breeze had moved the keys, Zark checks to see if there's a draft. That's not a breeze. But he finds nothing. The keys seem to have moved by themselves. Feeling pretty Internally. Spooked, he tries his best to forget about this incident, but fast forward to only a few days later and things get a whole lot strange. One night, Zark is making a reaction video while filming himself in his living room. It was past midnight, so he didn't expect anyone to disturb him, but little did he know that someone or something would still interrupt his video. Take a look. Oh, there's the shadow.
Oh, hell nah. As if things couldn't get any more terrifying, this happens. A loud bang is heard at the door, scaring the living daylights out of Zark. He backs away slowly, fearing that something dangerous is at the door. But just like before, nothing is there. Naturally, he was scared beyond belief. In fact, he was so scared that in a follow-up video, Zark couldn't help but express his feelings about everything. Watching the video, you can see how much of an impact these occurrences had on his well-being. Of course. You know, it's, the ghost is not scary. They just f*** your life up. It's a kid. It's a wife. You see, the worst part of the haunting is not the activity which happens at night. It's the drain. Or any noise disturbance or... Sorry. Clearly, these occurrences have taken a toll on Zark's mental health. He can't help but think that something from his previous home has followed him into his new apartment. The activity won't stop, and it seems to be getting worse. However, for just a short period, nothing strange had occurred. But then one night, the most disturbing thing was caught on camera. Zark is woken up by someone knocking at the door. Treading carefully towards the door, he captures this. Ay, santo padre. So what's that whole lore about don't open doors when you have a knock? Because what, you letting the spirit in? Or that's a way for you to invite the spirit into your home? Is that the lore? I'm ignorant, so... I am, I, I am not looking at that guys. You think I'm a fuck around looking to a, can you please stop it? Don't you dare do it. Hell no. Hell no. The voice of Zark's child is heard outside his door, but when checking on his son, he's clearly lying in bed. If his child was in his room, then who or what was mimicking his son? Like previous occurrences, Hell. Zark is baffled by this incident. He continues to no. document anything strange that happens in the hopes that someone could help him and his family. But based on recent videos, it seems they have yet to receive proper help. So then, just what exactly is happening here? To this day, Zark has no definitive answer to this question. Hell If you caught no. something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. On August 16 of 2019, at approximately 11 p.m., an employee named Rachel Mogg was looking over at security footage from inside a nightclub when That's something 22. very strange caught her attention. The club had already closed and Rachel was sure that no one was left inside, but the footage recorded by the club's security cameras appears to show otherwise. According to Rachel, the video recording shows someone who still hasn't left but that someone doesn't look to be a full-grown adult, but rather a small child. Even stranger is that whoever this child <laughs> is, they have a very distinct appearance. The video recording seen by Rachel and other employees of this nightclub is unusual to say the least. This is what was caught. These are their stories. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Shoot me up. Oh my God. So 
crazy. There it is. Oh yeah, it's definitely God. a toddler walking around. Yeah, she looks like it's walking, doesn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? But what? Isn't it? Rachel's friends, including herself, is a toddler. Isn't it? Around the tables, a small, translucent figure can be seen approaching the dance floor before turning around and walking back to where it came from. It kind of seems to hesitate for a second, as if feeling unsure about stepping on the dance floor. Whatever this might have been, Rachel is sure that something supernatural was caught on camera. Yeah, it's a baby. It's toddler. Not, the verdict is yours to make. Just what exactly had appeared inside this nightclub? It's a tata. A tata. Going to a party. Get guilty. This last video was submitted to me by Zach Attack, who says Ooh, that he Zach found Attack. the video on Facebook. The person in the video apparently had a life-threatening surgery that not many patients survive from. Fortunately for this person, the procedure worked out well. Now in the video, they had just woken up after the surgery, but strangely, they were overcome with a sense of dread. Something about the room they were in just didn't feel right. They further add that a faint buzzing sound was coming from somewhere in the room. So, as an attempt to record the sound, they captured this. Air Looney Tunes. <gasps> Ooh, bitch! <laughs> oh. As the patient pans the camera, a dark oh. figure passes right in front of him. This mysterious silhouette appears right beside them before running out of frame. They didn't see the passing figure until much later after watching the video. Now those who've seen the clip believe that a patient's ghost was caught on camera. Others, however, believe that something ominous was captured as the patient claims they were overcome with a sense of dread. But ghost or not, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Had something ghostly been caught on camera? Or <laughs> no. was something else captured? Nah, bro. No, not thanks for watching because I'm fucking scared. Shit. Hell no. I don't want to do paranormal stuff. You guys need to blow my channel up, get me money so I can pay for equipment to go um, paranormal hunting. Uh, yes, I have a phone. I need money for a license for a certain defense mechanism that I, I'll give you guys nine reasons why. But, and on a serious note, I do want to do Ghost Adventures IRL. Uh, there is a few places in Jersey that is extremely haunted that I can have access to, but I just don't have enough of the support. Uh, following wise, in order to approach certain people that I do have access to, to ask the permissions for. I have a lot of people in, you know, I know a lot of people who are cool with the mayor, a lot of people who are cool with secretaries and councils and all that kind of sorts. People who works for the states, people who are high ranking officers. I have a lot of connections in my family and family of friends. So I can do a lot of things. You guys got to help me just get me to the level of notoriety where I could request these locations and they could actually allow me in. For example, Right by my house, about one or two cities away, one of the two, I don't know. I don't know my geography is if you look up hospital Joker two was filmed at, it should give you a place called Belleville, New Jersey. That hospital Joker two was recorded, which Lady Gaga was there too. And Joaquin Phoenix. It's literally about a three minute drive from my house. I'm right there to it. It's abandoned. It used to be a mental institution. I asked before if I could enter and I was given a slightly okay, but now they're getting to the point where they might sell the property to make it a hotel. I kind of want to go in it before it is converted into a hotel. I want to see it raw, just abandoned how it is. So get me up there. All right. If you enjoyed the type of content, let me know in the comment section below. 
of any other people you want to recommend that does content in this kind of ways. There's Nukes Top 5, and then you have Bizarre Bub. In the description is my Discord. I have a section called Scary Reacts. That is where you can submit links. So I can click on it and react to it in the future. If you don't have Discord and you want to submit a video for me to react to in the near future, in any upcoming videos, what you do is in the comment section below, you leave the title of the video and the creator. So for example, you do quote, scary comp version 85 unquote by Bizarre Bub. That is what you do in the comment section because links are disabled like me on my comment section because there's people out there who scam. I ain't trying to have you guys be victims to people just being stupid and not working hard for their money and they want to take your money from you. I don't like that. So I disabled links for your protection and my protection. So if you want me to write to a video and you don't have discord, just put the title of the video in quotations and just put by or from and the, the creator or the channel's name. Other than that, guys, as always, I love your face and I'm out. Peace.